Konnichiwa, minasan. I am here as your virtual teacher that will introduce and teach you our topic today. That is finding the perimeter of a triangle. Are you ready, everyone? Then, here we go. What is a triangle? A triangle is a closed figure with three sides. It can be also a polygon with three edges and three vertices. Triangles has three types, isosceles, equilateral, and scalene. Let's just focus on equilateral triangle. This is an example of an equilateral triangle. Did you know that all sides of an equilateral triangle are all equal? Yes, they are. We will focus on how to get the perimeter of a triangle and using a formula to guide us. It is not only for equilateral triangle, but also for the other types of triangle. That is P is equal to A plus B plus C. Here is an example that each side of an equilateral triangle is equal. That is why when one side has 21 inches, the other two sides also has 21 inches because their lengths are equal. Let's try to solve the perimeter of the triangle using the formula earlier. The given is 21 inches and each side also has 21 inches. That is why P is equal to 21 inches plus 21 inches plus 21 inches. Or, if we want to simplify this equation, you can use P is equal to 21 inches times 3. Why? Because their lengths are all equal and the triangle has 3 sides. But the only condition you can use this is if the triangle is on the equilateral triangle. So be careful when you're going to use this. The answer, the perimeter, is 63 inches. Now that you can get a hold of it, let's try it on problem solving to understand it more. Try to read it carefully, understand it, list down the given numbers and the ones that the problem is finding. Let's try to read it carefully. Deku plans to build a pyramid, and each sides are in the shape of equilateral triangle. He found a wood which he can use to make the other two sides. The first equilateral triangle he made has a length 10 inches on each side. Help him find the perimeter of the triangle in order to make the other triangles and make a pyramid. Did you understand it? Of course you understand it. You're bright. Are you ready to solve it? Grab your pens and notebooks, then the formula that I gave you earlier. I'll give you 30 seconds to solve it. Then go! 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Time's up, Minna. Did you get the correct answer? Let's go and check your work. Be honest. This is the formula that we used and the given number is 10 inches. You know you can use the shortcut, right? So, P is equal to 10 inches plus 10 inches plus 10 inches or simply the shortcut. P is equal to 10 inches times 3. You can use it because in the problem, the triangle is an equilateral triangle. Are you ready for the final answer? The answer is 30 inches. Don't forget the label inches because the measurement may be wrong if you use a different label. So, don't forget the label. Did you learn something? Of course you do, you're all bright after all. Now let's get going, learn some few tricks, and enjoy! The title of our trick is Go Get Her Number with Mathematical Help, Savvy Camera Style. 
You are wondering how and you might think it is impossible but with math, you can definitely make a move to get your crush's number. Let's start with, make sure she follows this instruction and have her send the final numbers to you. The numbers are 0912345421. Think of the last digit of phone number and add 4 to it, then let her send it to you. For example, 1 is the last digit, add 4, then 5 is the sum. The second step is the same as step 1. Think of the second to the last digit of phone number and add 5, then let her send it to you. For example, 2 is the second to the last digit. You will add 5 and the sum is 7. 3. Eliminate the two numbers or the area code that may vary depending on what country you are. For example, 09 is the area code in the Philippines. Fourth, write the remaining numbers and multiply it by 2, then let her send it to you. Wow, that's a rhyme. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, multiply by 2, you will get 2469086 for the remaining digit. This is for you so that you can get her number already without asking directly for it. Just reverse the operations she used in those numbers, add the area code at the front, and there you have it. You finally have her number. Just arrange the numbers and how you get it. And you will get her number already. Her number will be 0912345-4321. Did you enjoy that? Then let us have another one. I don't know if you already know this, but this is a product of my own curiosity and imagination about calendars. Let me give you a little trivia about calendars. Pick a number in the calendar that is surrounded by numbers up, down, and both sides. For example, the number I chose is 18. The surrounding numbers are 10, 11, 12, 19, 26, 25, 24, and 17. Go get the sum of the surrounding numbers. 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 19 plus 26 plus 25 plus 24 plus 17 is equals to 144. Then count the surrounding numbers and divide the sum to the count of numbers. In short, the average. Then you will get the number that you pick. Oh my god! Wow!